Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Few days back I gave you a digital design challenge where I asked you to multiply an input vector by a number 9. But in this video, I am going to give you the solution of that problem statement only. But before going towards the solution, let us repeat the problem statement. Friends, the problem statement is very simple. Here we have to design this unknown combinational block. Input is vector A of 4 bits long, output is 9. A is a 4 bits input signal. We have to design the simplest digital logic to calculate 9 times of A. That was the condition. We have to, cal we have to design the simplest digital logic. Now let me give you a solution. Friends, some of the members gave the right answer in the comment section, but let me repeat it for others. This is the input vector A and this is the number 9. Let us see how we do this multiplication in binary mathematics. So this one is multiplied by A0, this A0 we will write here, then one is multiplied by A1, we will write A1, then A2, then A3. This is nothing but the vector A itself. Now 0 is multiplied by each bit, so we will get all zeros. Again this 0 will be multiplied by all these bits, again we will get 0 vector only. Now this 1 will be multiplied by A0, we will get A0, similarly A1, A2 and A3. Now how to get the final answer, final multiplication? We need to add all these 4 numbers. If you see them very carefully, this is the number A and this is 3 bit shifted version of the number A. That is nothing but 8A. So if we add 8A with A, we will get our final answer, that is 9A. Friends, now let us see its final logic diagram, which is very simple. I will take here a 7 bit adder and I will apply A vector as a 1 input and 3 bit shifted version of A, that is 8A to the second input. So shifted version is nothing but I will add 3 zeros at the LSB side. Now if we add these two vectors, we will get the final answer, that is a multiplication. So as the two operands of this multiplication are 4 bits long, our final product should be 8 bits long. Friends, our final question was, what will be the hardware requirement? So our hardware requirement is only single 7 bit adder. Friends, I mentioned each and every tail as per my understanding, but if you know something better, if you can reduce the area further, you can do this multiplication even with the lesser area. Please write it down in the comment section so that we can share that in knowledge with the others also. With this, I am going to end this video. I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and you can share your feedback in the comment section. And in future also, we are going to create many such videos. So to be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and your time.